What is up guys, I'm TI here bringing you a gameplay commentary and it feels like I haven't made a vid in like a week even though I know that's not true and um, because what happened guys is I've done a custom zombies episode it turned out to be about 30 minutes long so I split it up and uh, separated it over two days and that was my plan and this weekend I've been majorly busy I uh, found myself in a wooden box being shipped to uh, Madagascar with a zebra Hippo and giraffe, it's just the sort of situations I get myself into on a daily basis. Yes, because I, I am Alex the Lion, you should, you should know this by now. <laughs> but today is going to be another life topic, because I know you guys like them, and it's not going to be an advice one, it's just going to be something that's been, well, cropped up on Twitter today, and it's about failure. And uh, Jericho and Fuzz were talking about it, and they were saying that um, from success you learn life lessons, and Jericho was saying, no, no, no. Um, success only teaches you that, like, say, if you just hit success straight away, it's just saying you, Jericho was saying you get lucky, and uh, Fizz was saying, no, no, you learn how to get there. But I believe both of the sort of sides of the story, uh, sides of the story, like, to have a crack at something and get it first time, yeah, you are pretty lucky, to be fair, unless you've done your research and you know exactly what you're doing, which is a rarity, to be honest, if you're getting in something. But Let's say you have a crack at Photoshop and your first piece comes out magnificently. It's a persistent resistance, as you would say. And some people say it's luck. Other people would say it's raw talent. Now, if you've done that piece, if you've done it again and you've got a great piece, the the <laughs> the chances that you're naturally brilliant at it are getting to well, they're weighing in your favour. But if it then sort of fails next time around, you may think, okay, well, I've done okay first time around. Let's look at what I've done then and uh, pick out them key aspects and take it through and uh, apply them to where I went wrong in the second piece and that's how well, I know I learned how to do Photoshop I sort of done a piece that well the shading looks good but the colours just don't work and that's how I sort of built up from it and that's like how you learn it's how you, you through your mistakes and I guess the, the thing with failure is that everyone's scared of it don't be you will experience it a lot in your life well, Unless you're born with fucking four-leaf clover and a horseshoe coming out your ass, then maybe, <laughs> maybe you're immune to this bit of advice. But otherwise than that, you're gonna experience failure, and it's gonna suck sometimes. Now, sometimes you'll do everything humanly possible to prepare, and there is a good saying: "Prepare to fail, fail to prepare." That's what my dad always tell, tells me, and I just ignore him. To be honest, I just say, "Yeah, yeah, sure." Yeah, that's that's nice, but no, it's true. It's true bit of advice. And there are, will be times when you'll prepare your ass off, you'll revise, you'll put in them hours at night, and you'll unfortunately fail. And it might, it, it could just be the circumstances that it's not your day. And it, it does happen, okay? Sometimes you just got to go, yeah, but there's always tomorrow. And just shrug it off and learn from it and get on with it. A lot of people don't like, do that, okay? If they work hard, they fail, and they think, What's the point? What is the point? That is not the attitude to have, I'm afraid, because that one that will set you up with a whole chain of failure. That's just like, that's flicking over the dominoes of failure, okay? Literally, you've got to stop them from, from falling. You've got to say, yep, that's a bummer, okay? Not getting an A on that exam, whatever you're aiming for, that sucks, but you know what? I can retake, I can do better. You know, that's what I always used to think, and because I never used to do well in exams first time around. I don't know why, it's just it's just something that happened. For example, I've done an exam on a, a history and I got an F first time around, the next time around I got an A, so I was like, yep, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> so it's just, uh, I don't know, exams are really tricky to sort of put your, uh, put your like, it's hard to explain exams because there's so much pressure involved that I think they increase the risk of failure and failure seems so much more real when it's an exam because it's like you've got to do this or you haven't got a chance so yeah you've definitely got to shrug it off and I know it may be hard and you may be thinking god how am I ever going to get over this how am I going to build up uh, confidence and you've got to look at it as in you've literally got to look at it as learn when you've gone wrong okay now the other types of failure are when you don't do anything at all to prepare and you should be expecting it and in my case, I should be expecting failure with some of my exams because I've just kind of shrugged the whole subject off. Like, yeah, I don't like them. And that is not the way to go, okay? I'm preaching to you and I'm not practicing 
what I preach. But that's you get it, it's circumstances. Now, I've accepted that I probably will fail, and that's somewhat of a good thing, really. If you accept failure <laughs> and then think, actually, you know what? No. That's what I've sort of thought. I've sort of thought, I'm going to fail if I don't do anything about it. So I thought to myself, what can I do to, like, really have a one last, one last bash at it? Yeah, one, one of the lads. And I've thought, to, no, I've basically thought to myself, I've got to put in the extra hours. And for the next month or two months, I'm going to revise pretty much once a week. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. Now I'm going to do every night and that. And it's just that little bit of commitment. Commitment and failure work hand in hand. You put no commitment in, you're guaranteed failure. You put a lot of commitment in, failure is not as a big aspect. Now, it's going to happen all in your life, failure. I mean, you'll be at the club, you'll be working your thing, you'll be getting the drinks in, you'll be snorting the good stuff. I mean, the real good stuff, the stuff that the Colombians have for only their own. And you'll be thinking, well, that senorita, she lights up the room. She is magnificent. I want her. And you walk up to her in your smartly dressed Armani suit. And you'll give her the eye of sex. And think, she's mine. And she will blow you the fuck away. She'll go, no, nope, sorry, no, nope, no, I'm not interested. And that's going to happen. And you just got to think, well, you know what, you're probably a whore anyway. <laughs> if it makes you feel better, think like that. Um, but no, you're going to get knocked down. You're going to get rejected. You're going to fail exams. It's just part of the past, I'm afraid. If you go about it and think, you know what, what is the actual point of it all? And just mope and get down. And I know people like this. And they are awful. They're so annoying. And they get wound up at it. And also people that actually get angry that they fail and like what? and you just got to think dude just let it go man just let it go it's out of your hand and that is the key aspect of it what's done is done okay if you haven't if you're going to the exam the next day and you haven't prepared just accept what's coming to you just accept it make your peace with it because it's going to come or if you've done everything that you can and then maybe you did fail you've got to think well I gave it my 110% I gave it my best and well, I should have passed, but I didn't. There's always next time. That's what you got to think, okay? You've got to go in with that attitude. You've got to think, well, I've done my best. What more is expected of me? Because if you don't, you probably have any gutter, okay? You're going to have a gut dead with all the other has been. No, I'm joking. I'm joking, guys. I really am joking. <laughs> Some people probably be like, oh, he's a monster. He doesn't love me. But no, it's not the case. I do love you all. You know I do. And I'm just saying, you've just got to prepare sometimes, prepare for both outcomes. And all I'm saying is, don't do what I've done. And a uh, bit of life advice here, don't put problems to the side because they will build up and will revolt, re result in failure. And that's what I'm trying to say, just don't f tackle them face on, commit to them or even get rid of them, okay? I should have got rid of my problems, aka my subjects that I didn't do. I should have got rid of them and said, no, no more. But I didn't. Put them to the side and I'm probably going to fail. <laughs> but I'm well. Um, guys, I hope it's been a good commentary. I've kind of waffled for eight minutes. And um, yeah, I shall see you guys soon. Hope you enjoyed it. So